Welcome once again to our class today. In our class, we're talking about increase and decrease in ratio. Sometimes we increase a particular quantity by a particular ratio, and sometimes we decrease also the quantity where the particular was ratio. On our board, we have four examples we're using to demonstrate how we increase and decrease in ratio. The first one said that we should increase 500 Naira in the ratio 10 ratio 2. Now, what is the key to that? What is the key to that when you hear increase the ratio, increase 500 in the ratio 10 ratio 2? Now, since we are increasing, since we are increasing, what happens? Look at the ratio 10 ratio 2. 10 ratio 2. You look at the two ratio. The bigger quantity, the one that is bigger, look at 10 and 2. 10 is bigger than what, or is greater than what, than 2. So in our ratio, what do we do? Since we want to increase 500 in this ratio, we will say that will be what? We will say 10 over 2 times whatever we are increasing. That is what 500. That will be equal to what? 2 year 1, 2 year is what? 5. That goes for 5 times 500. 5 times 5 is what? 25. Zero, zero. So if I'm going to increase 500 Naira in the ratio 10 ratio 2, my answer is going to be what? 2,500. The bottom line again is this. When you are increasing, let the one that is bigger, the bigger fragment ratio, let it be in the numerator over the other ratio times whatever you are increasing. That is the key. That is the key. Please hold on to that. Now, the second question says decrease 690 kg in the ratio 2 ratio 3. 2 ratio 3. So, the B part now, let's take B here now. The B part, we want to solve the B now. We want to do a decrease. Now, when you are decreasing, remember, I will say that when you are increasing, let the bigger ratio be what? Be on top. But this time, when you are decreasing, when you are decreasing, the smaller ratio will be what? On top, just the opposite of what increase and decrease. So this will not be equal to what the smaller ratio here is what is two over what over three times whatever we are increasing, whatever we are what decreasing. That is what six hundred watts ninety. Now three can go here. Three here one. How many three do I have in six? Is two. How many three do I have in nine? Is what three. So that is what two times two three zero. So two times. 2 times 0 is what is 0, 2 times 3 is what is 6, 2 times 2 is what is 4. So I succeeded in decreasing 690 kg in this particular ratio. So when we decrease 690 kg in ratio 2, ratio 3, our answer will what 460 kg. That is it. So again, the clue here or the, or the trick here is that when you are decreasing, the smaller ratio should be what on top. Why this bigger ratio will be what would be um, um, will be in the denominator, but when you are increasing, the bigger ratio will be in the numerator or on top. Why the smaller ratio will be in the denominator or the bottom, and then you multiply it by whatever you are increasing or decreasing. Now we have the second one again. The C now find the ratio in which 80 kg must be increased to become 120 kg. Now we're going to find the ratio in which 80 kg must be increased to become 100 what 20 kg. Now it's 80 kg. Remember, this time we are doing what we are increasing. We are increasing. So since we are increasing, what will happen? The bigger kg will be what will be in the numerator. That is what 120, and then the smaller um, kg will be what in the denominator because we are. Increase the question say increase increase so that is why we have to do what since we're increasing the bigger them um, the, um, the bigger value the one that is biggest among them will be in the one in the numerator and that is how what are so what do we do now we're going to reduce it to its lowest term zero can zero please if you don't know how to reduce this check our previous video we, we explain how we can reduce ratios to their lowest what terms we are finding ratio in which 80 kg must be increased to become what 120 kg so this two can go now two years or four two years what uh six two years or two two years or three that is equals to what three over two which is the same thing as what 
3 ratio 2. So this is the ratio. If I should increase, if I should increase 80 kg in this particular ratio with this particular ratio, 3 ratio 2, my answer will be what? 100 and what? 20 kg. If I should increase 80 kg with this particular ratio, using this particular ratio, my answer will be what? 120 kg. So the ratio is what? 3 ratio 2. And then the last one here said I find the ratio in which 360 kg must be decreased to become 120 kg. Must be decreased. Now, since we are decreasing, the smaller ratio, the smaller value now, that is 120 kg, will be in the numerator, while the bigger one will be what? In the denominator. So that would be what? 120 now over what? Over 3, over 360. So we reduce again. This is 0 here, cancel 0. 2 here is what? 6. 2 here is what? 1, 8. 3 can go. Let's use 3. 3 here is what? 2. 3 here is what? Is 6. 2 here is 1. 2 here is what? Is 3. That gives us what? 1 over 3. 1 over 3, which is the same as 1 ratio 3. So that is it. So in other words, if I should decrease 360 kilometer with this ratio, our answer will be what? 120 kilometer. If I should decrease 360 kilometer using this particular ratio, our answer will be what? 120 kilometer. But that is exactly what the question says we should find. The question says we should find the ratio. So the answer, the ratio is what? The ratio is 1, ratio 3. So it's very simple. It's not difficult at all. Increasing or decreasing a ratio remains one of the simplest topic on that word in mathematics and even under a subtopic under ratio. So please, if you don't understand this, I encourage you to do what watch this video over and over again. I assure you, you will understand it better. And please don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, Please endeavor to click the subscription button and turn on the notification button so that whenever we upload new videos, you will get a notification of that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.